sunlight hurts my eyes. The sunlight hurts my eyes. What is up, guys? It's the Gaming Archive 19 here. And uh, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing Infamous First Light, which is of course free in uh, this month's PlayStation Plus lineup. Um, now, unfortunately, I brought the game all the way back in uh, August, so because of that, I've had uh, four extra months of playing the game. And um, I did recently go back and play it again, because obviously it was free, it was in the news and everything. So... I decided go and play it again and just make a review telling you whether it's worth buying or not. So um, I will immediately say uh, that this review may contain spoilers on uh, Infamous uh, Second Son, considering this is a prequel. Uh, and I also recommend that um, before you play this game, you at least have an understanding of Second Son's story, uh, because otherwise there'll be elements that you don't understand in the story, or it may ruin stuff for Second Son. So yeah, just be careful of that when you're going through the game. So anywho, the the, the story. So um, I thought personally the story was actually really, really good. Um, it was a big improvement on Second Sons because the story, to be honest with you, was absolute dog trash. Uh, and it was really one of my, the weaker points of Second Sons, the story was. But First Light, the story was, it, it was pretty good. I would say... Um, it had a better story than uh, the first two Infamouses, because of course they were really good games. But still, it's a it's 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 a genuine good story. I mean, um, I loved Fetch as a character. I enjoyed playing as her a lot more than Delson. And I'm not saying Delson is a bad character either. I just felt that I connected more with Fetch than um, Delson. Um, I also liked uh, so yeah, Laura Bailey's performance as her was really good. Um, the characters as well, I also really liked, of course, Augustine, the main villain from uh, Second Son, also makes an appearance in this game. Uh, and, they, and the game really changed my perspective on her, because I, I just thought she was a pure baddie, but when you play this game, you sort of see the other side of her. And I just love that, how if you've played Second Son, like, there's something new for you here, and it really just does open a load of doors that were left, you know, slightly open by the Second Son. Um, but, uh, these characters were really good, and unlike Second Son, where I felt that, um, the side characters re really were too bad because they didn't have any character development, um, in this, you really do get to see the characters grow, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and, uh, also, and the other good thing is that, um, you actually see them throughout most of the game, because obviously the characters in Second Son, you would see them, f you would see them for one mission, like, you do another mission with them, and then you will pretty much not see them until right the end of the game, which was kind of annoying. Um, and it doesn't really happen in this game. Like, they all have their specific moments. You even do missions with some of them, which is very good. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the story, and it definitely is an improvement on Second Sons. Uh, now we move on to and about the presentation. The graphics on this game look just as good as... Um, Second Sons. To be honest with you, I didn't really expect much of a graphical improvement considering Second Son was already one of PlayStation 4's best looking games. But, you know, it, I just love, still love the way it looks. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really good looking game. You know, motion capture, the facial animations are really good as well. Pretty much just as good as Second Son graphically. Uh, one in, another improvement, uh, which there'll probably be a few of in this video, that I found with First Light is that... Um, uh, the is it the the frame rate is also improved because in Second Son, like the frame rate I think was supposed to be 45 frames per second, but it was just so so bad. The frame rate was it would literally jump for all over the place place from the uh, 60 to sometimes even below 30, which was really disgraceful because it was just so unpredictable. And it really damaged the game in most parts for me. Um. But yeah, still graphically the game looks good. Um, in terms of gameplay, um, it, it follows the same routines, you know, the hack and slash gameplay of the Infamous franchise. And um, yeah, it, it's it's still good. Um, a bit, what, what, one gripe that I do have with the gameplay 
is the where obviously in Second Son you got you got to have four powers, whereas in obviously First Light you only have one, which is Neon. But luckily Neon was the power I used the most um, in Second Son, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, so yeah, I will. I was just saying that just because, you know, it was a bit of a disappointment considering we had four powers and now we're restricted to one. Still not too bad, but oh well. Um, oh, sorry, I just have a really bad cold. Uh, of course, they do change up Fetch's powers a little bit. Um, she now has infinite sprint from the start of the game. She also has the ability, as you'll be seeing in a few times in this video, that she can um, pull, like, stop freeze time or slow it down to get pinpoint accurate such shots which I found um, really good uh, she also has like this um, special combo thing where if you melee uh, melee an enemy you get like this booster boost up thing where you basically just massive power blow to an enemy which is an instant kill and then she also gets um, some other powers as well I mean, really, it is, it's just, in some ways, the same as the powers you had in Second Sun, but they do just change it up a little bit. They also have these cloud things that you can run through, that basically make fetch quicker, um, which I felt was really good. It created a nice sense of momentum in the game, and obviously showed off the game's graphical, how graphically good the game looks. Uh, although, this does lead me to another issue, which was, you know, if you constantly use this, it just really... I just really started to realise how small the open world actually is in Second Son. Um, because obviously you don't get the full map. I think last time I checked you only get uh, the north part of Seattle, whereas in Second Son you've got the north and south part of Seattle. So it's pretty much half of the open world. But still, it doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest with you, because um, I still enjoy the open world. Of course it's not really meant to be like this living breathing city it's more or less just like a playground so because of that I don't really not really gonna say oh you know the NPCs they don't really react that well to what you do um, but yeah I'll just say that and also um, another thing I like about First Light is that um, it also ditches the karma system which I really did not like in Second Sun I just didn't like the morality decisions of the choices that you made I, it, was, it just kind of annoyed me in places, so because of that, um, I, I'm, I am happy that they got rid of the karma system. Uh, and in terms of value, the game does have like um, an arena thing, we have to fight off these enemies. Um, and the good thing is that there's a leaderboard system, so you can basically compete against your friends and everyone else. And because of that, that's, this, it instantly makes it more replayable than Second Son. And considering this is a DLC that cost me what 11 pounds in the UK um, and I was easily playing this game when I originally brought it for definitely about what 20 plus hours which is the same funny enough the same time uh, I played Second Son um, but yeah it's really good value, value for money so overall um, Infamous Second Son has got a really good story uh, I like the characters as well the mission variety was very good uh, graphically looked really good, the gameplay was fun, and uh, I loved the arena mode, even though I really do suck at it, I found it really addictive, and just really a great value for money game, so, yeah, I'm gonna give uh, Infamous First Light a 9 out of 10, um, like I said, really good value for money, considering this is free for one month, you really need to go and pick up this game, because it is just really, really good. And uh, you will enjoy yourself. Uh, but anywho, that is it for today's video. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, I will be reviewing Far Cry 4. Luckily, if this video gets enough likes, I will um, upload it quicker. But yeah, that really just does depend on if you enjoyed this review. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And uh, I hope to see you again next time. Sunlight hurts my eyes.